Hi, it's Michelle, I'm Mama Loves You GB. This is December the 9th, so it's the ninth day of my Flossmas. I've got all the normal things to share with you today. So I have got some past stitching finishes, I've got a freebie, I have got my advent calendars to open, I've got a little bit of stitching that I've done and some beautiful stitchy kindness as well. I've also got a couple of um, bits of haul to show you. Now I said I know I was gonna wait until uh, Sunday to show you the haul but this isn't quite it's stitchy related but it's not um, charts or anything like that so I'm going to show you it today. Right I'm going to start off with the what I've been stitching on and I showed you yesterday that I had made a start on oops, the Prairie Schooler Evergreen and this chart's only been kicking around for the last couple of days and it's already a bit doggy because I didn't take a working copy beforehand. But never mind, we know it's not a cardstock copy. We've already had that grumble. So I've started that. And the place I'm in at the moment is, I haven't done a Prairie Schooler for a long time. And I'm now wondering why haven't I done a Prairie Schooler for a long time? It's the most glorious thing. It is fantastic I'm so in love with it already I said yesterday I was doing a sulky conversion and this is where I've got to so I finished the first the first little box so there are nine nine little pictures that all go together and there's also two extra ones on the back as well. So you can make a couple of little ornaments or you could make it all into ornaments if you wanted to. So I've finished the little Santa. And like I said, as I've been stitching him, I've been thinking, why? Why haven't I been doing more Prairie Schoolers? Because they are just phenomenal. So I'm gonna work down. I'm gonna go on to the little owl underneath. So as I said, I've got my sulky threads. And when I've finished it, I will put the sulky conversion up it does call for actually a few places where you need a single thread of dmc which is fine i'll just pull the um actual dmc conversion for these threads and then i'll use i use that to do my single lines wherever it's needed but i am so chuffed with him at the moment this is a piece of 32 count tobias just look at that coverage for one thread one thread of the 12 weight sulky it looks amazing so I can see me getting a little bit obsessed with this one until I get a little bit obsessed with something else <laughs> that's the way it goes right so past finishes I've got two past finishes to show you the first one you've already seen one of the set that I've done so I showed you January a few days ago so this is March from Puntini Puntini, when I think of. And you've got the rainbow, the rain, the shamrock, and the little welly boots there. Absolutely gorgeous and finished onto my spool. Well, we did lose the arch. The arch is now in two pieces. So it, it wasn't far off two pieces beforehand, but um, yeah, it's definitely now not an arch anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the plants look okay and I have it on very good authority that I can cut back those plants quite harshly and they will still be okay so I might have to do that because uh, yeah and everything else in the garden looks distinctly on a kilt so when it's fully finished the storm and we've still actually got quite high winds sort of 48 hours later we've still got high winds um, I will get out in the garden and have a look and then get Chris to fix it <laughs> I'm rubbish at gardening. I'm absolutely rubbish at it. I can't keep anything alive. I have cacti and because cacti look okay until they fall over and you realise they've gone hollow inside and then you just get a new one as far as I'm concerned. I'm rubbish at it. My second thing that I finished was the first in my unfinished sampler series and I will put the link down below. So for those of you who've only been with me recently my idea of an unfinished sampler series was to buy a little old sampler and exactly that, that was unfinished. And I've got two others waiting just for me to get around to actually charting them. And uh, so I released as a freebie that. So this is the actual antique. It's about 46 count, I seem to remember. 
and that's what the chart was the grid exactly that and then I asked people to finish it so this was mine this was stitched on a piece of 36 count I want to say oaken I think it was oaken and I used motifs from the Brenda Keys sampler book and I dedicated it to my godmother who was Jeannie Lucas who was born in 1926 and I've also got my daughter's initials on here as well because her middle name is Jeannie after my godmother who was a fantastic fantastic woman she was just hilarious absolutely hilarious I think I remember telling you at the time that she um she never called the fascinator a fascinator you know one of those headpieces that you wear for a wedding she always called them fornicators which uh made everybody laugh and for one of her birthdays I think it might have been her 65th or 70th birthday she went up in a spitfire she was she was hilarious she used to work for the police um and so you can imagine the sort of the humor that she would have had working in the police as well right my freebie this is my freebie now again uh the designers must know that i'm giving out some freebies and, and sh putting people in the right direction for freebies because the scarlet house have now added to their website a banner which says freebie so you don't have to go searching for them on their blogs or various different um, places Instagram or whatever they're on there so I've picked this one out and I'll show you the chart way back here but I found a little picture of it I've not found a picture of anybody who stitched it but it's just the digital rendering of the chart so you can see it's got that gorgeous border at the bottom which reminds me so much of a Welsh blanket and then it just says be merry and I think that would be a really really nice little stitch and I've got to stop myself stitching it <laughs> right at the moment because I'm trying to get things finished she says having shown you the new start that she started yesterday anyway my stitchy kindness now I've shown you quite a few times um, my lovely friend Deborah Darling makes fantastic floss holders and she sent me a couple of her Christmas ones so she also sent me a lovely card because she makes these beautiful dolls. Check out her Etsy store. She has got the most fantastic things. So thread holders, she's got Christmas decorations. She makes uh, beeswax um, thread conditioners, all sorts of things. So she sent me two Christmas ones. So this is the first one. Look at that Father Christmas. And you can see if I just put the the light on it how beautifully made it is and the one thing that I think is really super important with these thread holders is that the holes are super smooth and they are they're really really nice and smooth now actually I think yeah I do have one here that she made previously that's actually got silk on it so that tells you how good the holes are if you can put silk on them and then just be able to take a single strand out without damaging your silk that is pretty amazing so she sent me this father christmas one which i love and she also sent me this father christmas one how special is that so i absolutely love them thank you so much deborah for sending those to me I shall take tomorrow in the light a post or a picture of them so you can see them properly. And I think from the last time I looked at her Etsy shop, I think there are a couple of other Christmas designs as well. So definitely go and check those out. And she's here in Wales and she's actually not that far from me. So um, one day soon I shall have to arrange to meet up with her. And then my last little thing that I want to show you today is I did go and get a, just a little bit of haul, as I said, and I was supposed to have a dentist appointment this afternoon and it got cancelled this morning. So I'd driven into school by myself um, and so I had my car and we needed some maple syrup. There's a fantastic little old kind of delicatessence in Narbeth, actually, if anybody's ever been to Narbeth, you'll know what a fantastic little town it is, um, that sells maple syrup 100% pure maple syrup by the can 
and it's so pure that you can just open the can in the fridge just put a little sort of slit in the can and leave it there it won't crystallize because it's so pure anyway we go through it quite a lot quite a lot I put it in my pickled onions Chris puts it on his porridge we make cakes with it we do all sorts of stuff with this maple syrup it is phenomenal anyway so we needed some more of that and there's also several really really nice uh, little kind of antiques come bric-a-brac bric -brac, come sort of you know just those nice little shops that have got all this cool stuff in and there's, there's about three or four so when I go after school I kind of have to just pick one because I'm not going to be able to get around them all I just have to pick one and so the one I picked today was um, one called something bizarre I can't remember what it's called so I picked out two things I got this which is a metal arrow and I thought it would be really fun to hang a piece of cross stitch from I just really liked the color and I really liked the the shape of it it's not an old thing it's not an old thing but I just found it in there and I thought it looked cool and pretty vintagey and I could just imagine a piece of cross stitch hanging hanging off there and the other thing I got was this really nice frame it's beautiful condition it's been waxed really really nicely and it's got this little gold slip in it as well and every time I see a nice frame I can't pass them up because I know how much it costs to actually take things and get them framed so this looks like a pretty good size for a couple of pieces that I've got on the go at the moment I'll have to check it out and see and this is why actually I didn't mention at the time not specifically for this frame but I'm going to have a look and see I'm not going to put the border that goes all the way around the outside of there uh, I'm going to have a look and see what it looks like without and see whether it fits any frames that I've got before I actually decide to um, see whether I put it on I don't think this is going to fit it but I just thought I'd just mm. You never know so yeah I picked I picked that up as well and the other thing I picked up while I was there was a cherry bakewell croissant from um, wise buys which is where you get the maple syrup from and I decided to try and eat it in the car on the way home and there was this piece of jam and it fell onto in fact I think I might have even got it a little bit on the top it fell onto the seat belt and so every time I moved, this jam was like swishing backwards and forwards onto my coat. And I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to wash this coat when I got home. And I, I sort of tried to wipe it off and then I got jam on my hands and then it's all over the steering wheel. And then, oh, I have never got into such mess trying to eat a croissant in the car before. I, I literally got home and I had to go in and get um, a wet cloth and just literally all the surfaces in the car that I had touched coat's gone in the wash, seatbelt got wiped off, oh my goodness me, what a palaver, what a palaver to get into just for a cherry bakewell croissant. It was nice, but it wasn't worth coating the car in a fine layer of jam for, let me tell you. Anyway, let's do these two little advent calendars. So this is number nine. And what have we got in here? I've really enjoyed this um, Marks and Spencer's advent calendar, actually. I think it's well been well worth the money. This time, oh, I've had this before. Wren, Atlantic Kelp and Magnesium Anti-Fatigue Body Wash. Well, I need a gallon of that as well. I've definitely had this one before in something else. Oh, it smells so nice. So between the Anti-Fatigue Body Wash and my Immortal Cream, I might actually make it to the Christmas holidays <laughs> in one piece. Maybe. Our school is going till the 20, we break up on the 21st. So we finish, go, go all the way through till next Friday and then we have to go back for two days and finish on the 21st. So Christmas is going to be a whirlwind this year. Right, number nine. Ooh, and again, this feels a little bit... Uh, interesting too oh fancy some metallic dmc now i'm excited about it 
but I also know it's the devil's backside hair. So, <laughs> I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. But any metallic thread, you know you've got to be in the right frame of mind to work with metallic thread. Otherwise, the whole project's going out the window, isn't it? Anyway, that's enough rambling for me. I will see you tomorrow. Stay classy, Stitchers.